It's not looking good. Don't look at it. Don't look at it yet. This is all of the stuff I'm gonna try to fit into three suitcases. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to the channel. My name is Krista and I am a dancer and I work on cruise ships. I am about to leave for my next contract and first contract with Royal Caribbean. Today is Tuesday and we leave on Sunday. So I have a lot to do. I wanted to kind of show you guys how I pack. I'm definitely not bringing all of the things that are on that table because that would be insane. But thankfully this contract is mostly like a summer weather itinerary. So I don't have to worry about packing any big like coats. Like I'm not, we're not going to Alaska or anything. I don't really have a process when I'm packing besides laying it out and then kind of just reflecting finding as I go. Um, but I do break everything down into different categories. So I'll kind of show you what those are. Okay, let's go. So the first one is rehearsal stuff. As a dancer, we actually go to Miami for five weeks to learn all of our shows before we go to the ship. So that's where I'm heading now. Sorry, it's a hot mess. For rehearsals, I need just basically active wear. So I have currently one, two, three, seven, eight, nine pairs of leggings. I honestly like live in leggings and active wear. So for me, having a little extra of that is more important than anything. And then I have one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, ten like workout tops and bras. Obviously I'm gonna have laundry available to me so I don't need to bring everything I own, but I pretty much am. But Royal also sent us this list of things that we definitely need. Females, flesh tone, G-string, eyelashes and stage makeup, two black bras with adjustable slash removable straps, two beige bras, Wig caps and hairpins, proper dance shoes, solid black smart casual evening attire. I have most of that, but I definitely don't have all of it. So going to have to go to the store. They did say dance shoes, but they didn't say what dance shoes, which is honestly not super helpful. I have two pairs of Leducas, a black and a beige pair. I don't know if I'm gonna bring all these. I might only bring the beige because I think they provide new shoes actually for the shows, but you can wear your own shoes for rehearsals kind of the vibe that I'm getting. A pair of jazz shoes that I've had since 1991. I need new ones. When you're going to rehearsals, you definitely need an all black outfit for office runs. And honestly, you just wanna like look and feel your best. Like, yes, you already got the job, but you kind of have to keep proving yourself every single day. And that definitely comes into play with what you're wearing and how you present yourself. So definitely have, you know, some actual outfits that I'll wear for rehearsals that I find are just make me feel confident. Yeah, period. period. Okay, kind of going off the rehearsal wear stuff, we'll go to shoes next. I'm bringing probably three pairs of running shoes, a black pair, a white pair, and a green pair. The other shoes I'm bringing, I'm bringing three pairs of heels. Kind of seems like a lot, but look how freaking cute these are. I mean, if you're going out, you literally can't see me. At nighttime, you pretty much always need to be kind of dressed up a little bit, so. I'll get a lot of wear out of these. And I actually just realized I don't have my black ones out here either. So four pairs of heels. And then I have, oops, kind of two just casual pairs of shoes and then one pair of Birkenstocks. So when it comes to packing your daytime wear and stuff that you're gonna wear off the ship, for the most part, you can wear whatever you want. The only thing I would say is just when you're getting on and off the ship, you wanna still look professional because obviously guests are gonna recognize you. So just be conscious of what you're wearing getting on and off. And then when you are on the ship, for the most part, you're gonna be wearing your uniform. If your privilege package allows you to go up to guest restaurants and wear you know, evening attire and things like that, I'll go over what I'm bringing for that. But um, for the most part, you'll be in your uniform. So you really only have to pack for what you're gonna wear off the ship or what you're gonna wear on your time off not in guest area. And when it comes to that, a lot of the times you have to have closed toed shoes. You can't wear open toed shoes anywhere on the ship unless you're just walking to the gangway and getting off. Usually you have to have your shoulders covered when you're in the mess. You know, so bring a little cardigan if you like to wear tank tops, bring a cardigan you can put on just for when you're getting or going to the mess. I think that's really it. Like in crew bar, you can wear, you know, whatever you're comfortable in. And really the biggest thing is the closed toed shoes. Always have closed toed shoes. Hopefully that was a good enough explanation. <laughs> okay, moving on to evening wear. I am bringing six dresses. I also have two pairs of like dress pants. I have this really gorgeous black mini cocktail dress. This orange one that is a little bit longer. It goes down to the ankle. And then I just got this dress. This one's a little longer. It's a little scandalous on the top, but whatever. And then 
I'm also bringing a lot of sundresses. I like sundresses for both on the ship and off the ship. If you're eating on board and you have in your privilege package, you're able to go up to the buffet for lunch, you'll want to be dressed appropriately. And normally a sundress um, is good for that. So here I just have a stack of bathing suits. We won't be going to the beach like every single day, like if we were in the Caribbean. So I'm gonna bring a couple and then I'll probably just buy more. I'm kind of just telling myself, I'm just gonna like go shopping and like have a cute European wardrobe by the end of this. It's probably a bad idea, but. Okay, now we're gonna move on to probably the category that I'm most nervous about, which is my electronics. I have a lot. Did wanna point out a couple of things that I highly recommend really anyone to have. First of all, well, not anyone. If you don't like to read, then not this, but I have the Kindle Paperwhite. I just got it off of Amazon and literally obsessed. So if you read at all, get a Kindle. It saves so much space. Okay, the most important part of any contract <laughs> is a hard drive. Probably don't even need that many gigs on it um, if you're using it solely for the purpose of movies and TV shows. Let me pause when I interrupt you. You wanna help me talk about hard drives? Okay, Robert is here to help me talk about hard drives. Okay, anyway. I have to adjust the camera because you're too I'll tall. Just, I'll just step back here. I'll okay. just step back. But the point yeah. of the hard drive is to put movies and TV shows on it. If you meet people, which you will, um, who have done multiple contracts, pretty much everyone will have a hard drive full of movies and TV shows that you can take from them. And the reason like that this... I feel like it's awkward. I'm just standing okay, there. Okay, you can leave. The reason that you're going to want this is for C-Days when... You might be doing a crossing. We're about to do a crossing. It's gonna be 10 days at sea. And what is it? I don't know, it's like five or something. I'm pretty sure it's like five and then a day and then like four. It's like 10 straight sea days. <laughs> and it's just nice to have the shows that you actually wanna watch because a lot of the times on the ship TVs, it's just like repeating the same movies and TV shows all the time. <laughs> Go away. Oh. <laughs> Hope we convinced you to get a hard drive. <laughs> okay, next up, this is for my dancer and performing people. Uh, ah! When you're in rehearsals or just sore, I don't know, whatever, um, Theragun is literally my favorite thing ever. So definitely recommend a Theragun if you don't have one. One last thing Robert is grabbing it because I forgot to put it out here. This is a little baby one is a speaker. He just has this little Bose speaker and this is nice because it's well it can be relatively quiet so we can use it in our cabin or um is it waterproof? It's water resistant. Okay. Water resistant so we'll like take it to the beach sometimes. Okay. I think this is the last category we're moving on to. This category we'll call miscellaneous, but it's really kind of for your cabin. The first thing is twinkly lights. We have a lot and we love these. It just makes your cabin homey, the lights in there, especially if you don't have a porthole, which most people don't. You just, you need better lighting. The overhead lighting, it's just kind of depressing. I'm bringing Cards Against Humanity. A lot of the time ships will have games in crew bar, but I like to just have my own and this one's pretty small. So like I said before, or actually I don't think I said this before, all of the walls in your cabin are gonna be magnetic. So I have these little magnetic whiteboards <laughs> that are kind of cute and so i'll put these just like right by the door and sometimes i'll attach like a tip to it for my room steward and i'll write a little note for them if you um don't want these you could just get like a little whiteboard a lot of people will put them on the outside of their door and then people will write notes on them which is kind of fun um and then we have these all of these polaroids and we like to put these in our room just on the walls to again make it a little bit more homey because when you first walk into your cabin, it's gonna feel sad. It's just gonna be really bare and yeah, you have to make it your own. So we kind of do that with Polaroids and twinkly lights. Yeah, you just wanna make it as homey as you can. Okay, I think for the most part, I broke down all of the different categories that I kind of break things into. Oh, that is not it. I forgot my toiletries. It's because I don't wanna talk about my toiletries because it's too much. Okay, let's talk about it. Today is Friday. Um, I started packing on Wednesday. I ran out of time on Wednesday to film all of my toiletries because I needed to just go through them, organize them, and I knew that it would just take 
too long to film, so I, I just ran out of time. I had another question from someone. How many toiletries do you know to pack and are there stores to get US stuff? In the Mediterranean, in places like Barcelona, and there are a couple of other like big cities that have Sephoras. So when it comes to that, yes, there are certain places that you can get your US stuff. Kind of do your research, like look at locations of your favorite stores and see if they carry it or if their drug stores carry some of your favorite things. Okay, moving on to makeup. My everyday makeup and my stage makeup aren't insanely different. I um, basically just need extra of everything because I use it all basically every single day. Um, the only thing about my stage makeup is I just use way more. I contour my face way more than I normally would. I wear way more eye makeup. I never wear lashes in normal life, so obviously my lashes are for stage makeup. Um, and then I have like my red lip. dryer but I'm forcing Robert to pack it because we share it so in my suitcases just to kind of get an idea where I was at. When it comes to suitcases, I use the brand Samsonite. I've had these since 2017 when I did my very first contract and I've taken them literally all around the world with me and they are great. They're still in really great shape. The only thing I would say is I wish I got a different color because black, I just feel like everyone has black, so. And then when it comes to my carry-on, oh, this is my carry-on. When it comes to my personal item, I have this camera backpack. This brand, I think it's pr pronounced Brevite, but don't quote me on it, is awesome. I've had this backpack for a couple of years now and I take it hiking, I take it everywhere with me. It's really nice if you have cameras to just have peace of mind that they're kind of tucked in a spot and they're not gonna be jumbled around your bag. I kind of forgot to mention, I don't do like a rolling method. I just try to fold everything similarly and then just kind of, Tetris it and just make things fit into each other that way. Um, yeah. I guess 40. Let me try first. Oh, I'm gonna say like 42. Okay, I'm gonna say, okay, you're making me feel like 46 now. <laughs> Wait, that's 45. Five. Yeah. Nice. Five more pounds. I am in my pajamas because I wanted to put literally every single thing I needed in a bag so I knew exactly how much everything weighed. So the only things I have out left are like my toothbrush and the clothes that I'm wearing tomorrow. I'm not bringing these with me so I will just leave them here and everything else is packed. I cannot believe we're leaving tomorrow. Very bittersweet. It was really sad saying goodbye to everyone. I can't even talk about it. I'm literally gonna cry. Okay, it's time to go to bed and wake up in the morning and head to Miami. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.